A large part of a North Georgia school body walks out of class in protest. The Chattooka County High School students were protesting a January school board decision to go from a four day school week back to a five day week. John Mabel joins us now live from a passionate school board meeting that ended a little more than an hour ago. John. Well, just students, parents and alumni, they all came here to this school board meeting that wrapped up at about nine o'clock because they wanted to know why the board voted back in January to move to a five day school week when they had been working under a four day school week for many years and to their estimation very well. Well, they did not walk away tonight with a satisfactory answer, but they certainly let their voices be heard. Many Chattooga County High School students walked out this afternoon. They were protesting the school board's January decision to move back to five day weeks. Honestly, coming to this board, board meeting tonight and just being around them, I honestly think they're not going to change their mind, but doing it, I hope we made a stand. Angela Veach says her son walked out and she fully supported his action. We would like to um, have some discussion. They voted within 10 minutes of being um, sworn in without any, we have seen no data as to why they made that decision. The public comments, they were strong. Who do any of you think you are that within the first hour of taking office you so blindly and hastily make a decision of this magnitude? We met David Rogers before the meeting. He taught construction at Chattooga High School for 20 years, 12 years on the five-day system and eight years on the four-day system. Don't take us back 10 years where we were. That doesn't work. I, I, I was there. I, I saw it. The money situation, the data, it just all speaks for itself if they would just look with an open mind. And the money that it saves, because you know, you're, you're heating and cooling the buildings one last day, you're running buses one last day, uh, you're, you're fixing lunches one last day. So why did the board make the change? I want to ask you a couple of quick questions here. I have no comment tonight. Well, my district, number one, is the Leroy Massey Elementary School. And uh, for the last several years the test scores you know have still been at bottom and I'm trying to find a way to get more instruction for those young kids. I'm resigning it for many many reasons uh, but I don't believe that uh, the way that they are going is the right direction for our school system. Now that was Superintendent, Superintendent Jim Linderman. He says his effective date for his resignation will be April 30th, but he does plan to use his vacation days. But in, finding, in closing, he said he felt like the relationship between this school board and the public is too caustic right now. We should, we should also add that Brad Hayes, school board member Brad Hayes, said that the decision, or at least the discussion about moving back to a five-day school week has been in the happenings long before they came into office back in January. That's the story from the Chattooga County School Board. I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you, Josh. John, thank you. The five-day school week goes into effect this coming.